Melissa Gilbert said that you talked her into doing Dancing with the Stars. Talked her into doing Dancing with the Stars? Uh, I think Melissa Gilbert wanted to do Dancing with the Stars, and she came to, uh, she came to watch me several, you know, like in my cheering squad. And, um, I mean, I don't know, maybe it horrified her. Mm -hmm. And then she freaked out. And then maybe it did talk her into doing it. I don't know. But I, th I think she's a perfect candidate for it. What do you think about the cast? I, this new cast. I think the cast is, uh, it's interesting. You know, it's very diversified. So I, I saw online who the cast is. And um, I'm like, wow. You know, there's some funny people in there. Sherry Shepard's in there. Yeah. And well, our own Maria Menounos. What, what advice Maurice? would you give to Maria? Um, Either go for the gusto and go for the whole thing, or get out early. <laughs> I mean, it isn't fun to put in all that work and all that time and not get close to winning, or win, you know? You, if you really decide you're gonna go for it, you have to really go for it. And if not, I, I say get out early, because it's, it's, it's grueling. It's the hardest thing I've ever done physically. Really? Yeah. And Melissa Gilbert will see this. You know, she's, I see her on Twitter going, oh, Max, oh, my God, he's rocking my world. He's like, like oh, my God, girl, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> what hurt the most? Was it parts of your body or was it your feet? Like what? Well, when you're partnered with Max, your mind hurts. <laughs> you know, he's tough. He he's, he's Bolshevik or something. He's t I told her, she said, what is your advice? I said, you know, carry a crucifix. And don't let go, because this guy's tough. And no matter how, I know that he's going to, he's probably, this is probably his thinking, I'm going to be really sweet. I'm going to be really reasonable. I'm going to, I'm just going to really, you know, he's probably planning this, how he's going to do it. It'll last about four days. Wow. So I'm just saying, Melissa, you, you have your, you have no idea. So just hang in there and keep a smile on your face and remember your half pint. And half pint doesn't go ballistic on the show. Don't go ballistic. Even if he goes ballistic, don't. Just go. <laughs> sort of like that, you know? Working a lot lately. I've been Tell working a lot. This, this pilot. What is it? Oh, the pilot is for ABC. It's called the Manzanis. Okay. Which I just learned how to say halfway through the taping I'm glad of the you show. Said, I was trying to figure it no, out. No, halfway like through the... the taping, I was going, I have to say, look, I'm Gina Manzini. And I, they go, uh, excuse me, cut. You're not Gina Manzini, you're Gina Manzani. I was like, oh, I am? Because <laughs> I'd been tweeting away, like, I'm doing a pilot called The Manzanis. It isn't. I think they should change it because it's easier to say, but we're The Manzanis. Manzanis. We're The Manzanis. Tell us about The Manzanis. Oh, well, it's, um, it's uh, an Italian-American family from Brooklyn. Uh, Michael Rispoli is my husband. Do you know Michael? Mm. He's, he's the best. You know, he was... Tony Soprano's boss, so mm -hmm. he's a badass. So, um, and it's about this, he's a baker in Brooklyn, and he's, he's done really well. So he manages to parlay the one bakery that was his dad's into three. So now we're sort of rolling in a dough, sort of. So he moves the family to Connecticut, where we really don't fit in. Because we're loud and we're, Rhea Perlman plays my mother-in-law. <laughs> We're just the loud family, you know? We're crude, we're loud, we're honest, and it doesn't fit in in Connecticut. Doesn't fit in the Connecticut? N not so much. Connecticut's They're wasps. 